Good evening, everyone. I'm Kamen Anchev. The Cardinals have the best home record in the majors, but have struggled on their current road trip as the Cards were 2-4 and four and tried to avoid a Royal sweep in the I-70 series. St. Louis would start fast, top first, a check swing right here for Johnny Peralta, but it finds the outfield grass. Colton Wong scores 1-0 Cardinals. Later in the inning, Matt Adams lines the ball to center over Lorenzo Cain's head. They call him the Cain train over there in Kansas City. Matt Carpenter scores 2-0 cards, 2-1 in the sixth, and Carpenter at the plate, and he'd hit a liner down the line. It's fair, and it's gone for a tour and homer. His eighth of the season already equaling last year's total. Michael Walker allowed one unearned run in seven innings as he improves to a major league best 7-0. The Cardinals win 6-1. Devils baseball season came to an end Saturday at the Sun Belt Tournament. A State lost its opening game to top seed South Alabama, but then won two in a row before losing to South Al again in the semifinals. Zach George was named to the All Sun Belt Tournament team after hitting 500 and driving in six runs. Joining George on the All SBC team was Chandler Hawkins, who threw a career high seven and two thirds innings, striking out 10 and allowing just one run in the 6 1 win over Georgia Southern. The Red Wolves are the only team to have won at least two games in each of the last six Sun Belt tournaments. In all, A State finishes 27 and 30 on the season. The Hogs started the SEC season with series losses to, to two top 10 teams, but caught fire winning seven straight SEC series, splitting one, then winning the last one. They stayed hot, winning their first two SEC tournament the games, night. but then lost the and next two and were eliminated from the conference tournament. Arkansas has won at least two SEC tourney games in three straight years. The Hogs will find out Monday where they'll play in the NCAA regionals. I saw many of you in Fayetteville this weekend, so let's take a look back at Region 8 teams at State. Armoreau played a nearly perfect game, putting up 10 runs on the board and not committing an error and getting six scoreless innings from MVP senior Ashton Kennedy. The Tigers take the 1A state baseball title 10-0. The Paragold softball team got some great defense right here by senior Katie Lomax, but it wasn't enough as Valonia's four-run fifth led to a 5-2 win. And in 2A, the BIC softball team got a solid outing from senior pitcher Madison Greathouse, but didn't catch any breaks, losing the 2A state softball championship 3-1 to Spring Hill. And here are the three famous words. Start your engines at the Indianapolis 500. Lap 176 of 200. A huge crash here. Thankfully, everyone was okay. Four laps to go. And Juan Pablo Montoya passes Will Power for the lead. Montoya holds off Power to win the Indianapolis 500. And per tradition, drinks some winning milk. And we've got uh, the NBA Finals or NBA Eastern Conference Finals going on. Can't show you highlights because this one's not over. The Hawks led the Cavs by one at the half, but Al Horford was ejected for throwing an elbow. LeBron, who has a triple-double, scored 15 in the third. The Cavs were up five after three quarters, but the Hawks forced overtime. The Cavs leading 112-111 in OT at last check. LeBron just hit a three with less than a minute to go. In fact, we've got the score here. It's 114-111 now with 12 seconds to go. This is a yes. little behind, so uh -huh. it could actually be over. Close but the Cavs game. look like they could go up 3-0. Yeah, they could. So yeah. big stuff. Yep, big Thanks stuff. Thanks, Common. And we'll be right back.